Hey guys, this is Buttermix, and today we're gonna talk about uh, 2D Toolkit. Um, personally, I like doing 2D games, uh, and I like to uh, make them in Unity. Uh, so there's a few ways you can do that in uh, in Unity. Uh, you can roll your own stuff, or you can just use some of the plugins. Uh, personally, the one I love is uh, 2D Toolkit. It's pretty cool. I'm learning it uh, at the moment, so it's gonna be a journey for me and to you guys. We're gonna start like uh, learning uh, uh, side by side. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is just install the damn thing. So it's pretty easy in Unity. Uh, let's just try. Uh, we're gonna make a new project. The project we're gonna be working with. So just make a new project and. Uh, Let's create it. Yeah, right there is okay. It's gonna be named to the toolkit tutorial. So okay, to toolkit tutorial, create the project. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, all right. So there's an empty project, and. Uh, just to install uh, uh, 3D Toolkit, uh, I'm going through this pro process because I don't want anyone to feel like uh, they are being excluded or they want, need to know something. Uh, so we're going to start just from the beginning. And when I'm also doing this because uh, I think most of the people that use Unity use C Sharp. I don't like C Sharp. I'm going to do all these tutorials in JavaScript. Uh, I know C sharp and that's why I like it. So uh, I've done it. I've done uh, complete games on C sharp. Uh, it's not been pleasant. I rather just do do JavaScript. So that's what we're gonna do. And and it, it needs a little bit of a setup uh, on Unity just to get the plugins right. So so just to import this, uh, I'm on in a Mac right now. Um, just because I need to record this on a Mac, uh, and uh, the, but the same thing is in, in in Windows in my Windows laptop. I do the same thing. It's just I got the the, the, the latest version here of the toolkit, which is uh, version two hotfix two. Uh, so once you you buy this, you're gonna have access to the forum where you're just gonna be getting the latest. Uh, latest versions so once you have it here it's just a matter of just double clicking it and it's just gonna be going to unity or the other thing you can do is just go here to uh to uh is it, where is it in assets yeah import import uh package custom package and just find that package wherever you put it uh i know mine is on the desktop on your plugs so there it is that's another way same thing more smaller browsing in my uh, in my opinion so any one of those two ways it's gonna be installing the same thing so I'm gonna install just uh, stop install everything just to have some content that we can play with and then what uh, once you click import there, you just um, it's gonna be important uh, all the scripts, all the content that is included with 2D Toolkit by default. There's a lot of useful scenes. I really uh, uh, you you really uh, be uh, finding uh, useful stuff there. So I really recommend you go through that. That's what I want to say. So once it's it's, it's installed, let me just make this bigger. You have a bunch of uh, folders here. Well, one folder with a lot of uh, un, un, subfolders here. You have the 2D Toolkit manual, which is not actually a manual. It's just a link to the actual manual. So when you open it, it just tells you go here. <laughs> so uh, the manual is really useful. We're gonna go through 
uh, a bunch of the manual first before we start building uh, a game because this is gonna be a series where we're gonna build uh, uh, I don't I don't want to say a complete totally finished game but it's gonna be playable and expandable and it's gonna have a platform character uh, and, and a menu and a GUI and and a world to select your your levels and stuff so uh, but we want to need first to know the, just the basics which is actually pretty simple I don't, I don't it's not that hard to to get into to the look it's pretty simple once you get through the first uh, parts of it it's 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 simple it's yeah so let's say uh, if you wanna go here, you can see this is the main code of the thing and, and of the plugin. It has the code, the editor, uh, the editor code, uh, which is gonna be uh, there. You go. There's a menu here that is generated by this, by this uh, scripts here. Uh, there's also the demo folder, which contains all the demos here, which is. I really uh, encourage you to go and and look at them, uh, analyze them, see what you can use from those and stuff. It's it's pretty pretty cool stuff, and you can uh, just open the scenes, see the scripts there, because they're all the scripts are there. And if you know a little bit about C Sharp and JavaScript, you can just port this code really quickly from one to the other. So, uh, and that's something I do a lot. Uh, I do a lot of JavaScript stuff, or I do all my games, Unity games in JavaScript or Unity script. Uh, but uh, I know, since I know C Sharp, just pretty uh, easy to me. Just get a, a C Sharp example or, or a piece of code and just make it work in JavaScript or Unity script really quickly, which is it's useful. It's really useful, but. Uh, uh, as, as I say, I don't really like too much to go into uh, C sharp. I think it's uh, a little bit more typing, <laughs> and so I want to keep it simple and fun. So that's why I'm I'm using you know the script. But as I said, if you want to follow this series, you can go and do it all in C sharp and. Uh, and I might include the the code for each section in C sharp too, so you don't feel like uh, alone. But well, we're far still far away from coding anything, so uh, let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, it's it's not a hard thing just for me to put the code in, in in the two versions. But in the tutorial, I'm gonna just be using JavaScript. So if you understand the functions and the stuff that it, what's happening. It's, it's the same thing, JavaScript or C Sharp, whatever, full script. I don't know. Uh, so, this is installed already, and you can use it if you're, uh, if you're going to be doing your stuff in C Sharp. You can just go away and code right now, and this will work. But since we, I'm going to be using JavaScript or JavaScript, uh, there's a uh, very useful function here or a menu option here. In the 2D toolkit uh, menu, it just sets the, the stuff for you. But the only thing it does is this: uh, JavaScript just requires a folder called plugins, and it's all this stuff or just the code of it to be inside that folder. So if you have other uh, C sharp plugins, that are not giving you errors or something that is not being found or whatever. Just put them on the on a plugins folder like we're gonna do here, and just do that. So we we don't want to do this manually here because we have this fun this fun uh, and useful option here. So let's just do that. Click it. It's gonna start copying that stuff. It's gonna move it actually. So you can see the code here has no scripts now. Because all the scripts had been moved here to the plugins folder. That's the, the folder that you uh, need for that. So we have all the code for 2K2D, uh, tile maps, and the UI thing. So if you go here, you can see the 
the scripts are here and they are actually C sharp still so C sharp scripts but they will work uh, the same way all right so just to um, know that this is working let's just because uh, this is just the setup the setup uh, tutorial let's just go to to the toolkit and uh, open something create something should have these menus yeah it's working sprite collection this menu here should have a menu here for more stuff to create so let's just create something just for let's create a folder here for collections just create something there just to see that proof this is working and just put this over here create oh, it's off screen let me just move this to this side so you guys can see the menu there right clicking on there there's a menu now it's off screen come on so there to the toolkit Sprite collection or font or just let's create a sprite collection for now and there it is just rename it to test test collection and open the editor just to know that this is working okay so the editor is there so that means uh, this stuff is working so I'm gonna cover this uh, in, in later tutorials but for now just that setup that is correctly and we are set up to access this from from JavaScript now because uh, all this is set up I um, think I'm gonna put the hierarchy down here so you can see the when I right click on stuff you can you can see the uh, menu there it's gonna be like way down here so that's it for this one, I might even put this on this side, but doesn't matter for now. So that's it for the setup.